Willem and Marianne, I look at your beautiful image as you walk away hand in hand. I wonder where. It looks like a beach. Or is it just the way you're dressed? I love your trousers, Willem, with the braces and left leg rolled up. You look solid but fit with such a wonderful shock of curly grey hair. I see you, handsome, olive-skinned, with grey, twinkling eyes. I, I don't know, I, I just see you that way. And it's funny. I find myself wondering what your left hand is rubbing off your face. You look strong, not waiting for death. But actually, we all are. It's the nature of living, isn't it? I've just noticed your shirt. A favourite? Soft, well-worn linen, perfect for this warm afternoon with your much-loved warm Marianne. You're not walking heavily. You are light and easy, holding Marianne's hand as you have for so many years. You were young when you met, and you still have that air. And Marianne, your hand's where it wants to be safe in Willems. Your strong grey hair isn't curly like Willems. A light, well-used day pack is settled on your back. <laughs> so Dutch. How many years now have you walked happy places with that pack on your back and Willem at your side? You're wearing, I think, a fleece around your neck and relaxed three-quarter shorts. Your right hand holds... what? A phone? A pack of tissues? Not a pack of cigarettes, I hope. Too Dutch. Marianne, you and Willem walk slow and tall. You're not tall, but your conviction says you are. I can't see the horizon you're walking towards on this Dutch summer day, warm enough and dry enough. There's no need of the horizon. You walk together and... That's all that matters. Perhaps a shimmering sea in the distance. A sea that's definitely been part of your life. And now I notice the date and place of the card. 12th of December, 2019, Hoisden. I'll have to look it up. I, I don't know it. Your happy place? And suddenly I see two other dates. 10th of September 1949, Tilburg. 28th of July 1952, Breda. Breda, I know that. Tilburg, um, I'll look it up. Marianne Willem, I'm older than you were. I stand in Mike's cluttered kitchen in Sydney, staring at the refrigerator door where you are both frozen, walking away. It's too late to tell you how moved I am. I, I, I didn't know you. Willem, 
and Marianne. Willem and Marianne. Willem and Marianne. You made a decision that I don't know I could make. And why? We all know there are only three certainties in life. We will be born. We will die. We will live until we die. And still we live each day in denial. How is that? How hard was it to make that decision? Did you talk well into the night about every possible angle? Or were you very Dutch? Straightforward, pragmatic, matter of fact. Knowing Marika, I, I guess the latter. I, I don't know your son, Haram. But I know he's married to Marika and that says it all. The act of ending it. I can imagine quite well. I've had enough anaesthetics to understand I just wouldn't know. You had your family by your side. I, I, I think I couldn't do that. Two, final? Well, it is, isn't it? How do you get to that point? I guess the thought of the alternative takes you there. And how was it for a Marika and Haram? I know it how it is now. They miss you. Terribly. You've made them grow up in an instant. Not that they weren't grown up already with their own three children. Did you cry and hold each other a lot as you talked through these possibilities? Or was it business-like with lots of forms to sign? Our wills are ready, but we still haven't signed them. I'm not frightened to sign them. I, I've done it before. It's just one of those jobs you keep postponing because you got to check all the details are correct. Willem and Marianne. It's difficult to get it. But I do understand. My mum is still going strong. 108 in two and a half weeks. She just can't understand why.